Hello again, so now we're going to be doing the second type of grafting um, and this is the one that I would recommend uh, for people who are just starting out. Um, it's just a little bit easier to um, to do um, and you do get a second chance if you don't get it right the first time. Um, and it's just sort of good to understand how the mechanics of it all works. So I've got here a Matillo cactus um, geometricans or metrizins or something like that. Um, you will have seen this guy in the um, Cactus Collection to a summer, the summer edition for 2018. Um, and then I've got here uh, Astrophyta Mirio Stigma Onzuka seedling uh, that I got from a friend of mine. Uh, both of these are from a friend of mine. Um, and then the other supplies that I'll be using is uh, again the isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. Um, a bigger knife, the Green Knife Returns, which was uh, and it was such a, uh, a hit on the <laughs> Trichosiris video. Um, if you'd seen any of the comments uh, that uh, were on that video, some of them were a little bit uh, a little bit funny, and I think people were a little bit too interested in my uh, poor little Green Knife. But anyway, so I removed a lot of that nonsense. Um, you need some paper towel, um, and I'll show you what this is for in a minute. Um, and then the and some tape. The tape that I use is electrical tape, um, not regular duct tape. Sorry, I'll try not to knock the table too much because I know it knocks the camera. Um, because it's a lot stretchier um, than than normal duct tape, uh, and the stretchiness uh, does help. Anyways, um, so basically what we're going to be doing is making a cut uh, on this guy. Sorry, I'll try and get things on film. Uh, making a cut across here and we'll do the same across here and we need to clean up the sides uh, and I'll show you what that's all about um, and from there we need to line up there's two little there's rings, there'll be a ring like that um, on the seedling and there'll be a ring like uh, the same what we're trying to do um, is not line the rings up like this we need to line them up like that so we want the rings to cross um, <coughs> excuse me, lining them up uh, this way uh, doesn't <coughs> excuse me doesn't work. It needs to be like that so that the, uh, the the rings cross and then the nutrients flows up between the two. Uh, the reason that we graft is uh, because it reduces or almost eliminates um, the chance of something that's uh, potentially rot prone like astrophyums can be. Um, it eliminates the, the chance, likelihood of them rotting. Um, and it also amplifies the growth rate. So astrophytums are extremely slow growing as are Lophophora and all sorts of other things. Um, and so we do that to, to speed the growth up. Um, so without further ado, um, let's go ahead and get into it. This knife does look a little bit grubby. I have already given it one wash with alcohol, um, but I'll go ahead and do it again um, just to make sure that it's uh, nice and clean. And then we're going to go ahead and cut. But what I might do is just cut some of these spines out first. Because they don't need to be there. Alright. So I'll start a little bit higher up. Um, and then if I need to, I can cut further down. But I can't glue bits back on. So I'll start a little bit higher and see how we go. Okay. All right, so we'll see there in the center of the cactus you can see that small ring. Um, that's the ring that I need to line um, the, the graft up with. So just see how close I can get. That green bit in the center, that's the bit that I need to line up. So we'll do that. Um, this first cut wasn't very good, it's a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to make another very thin cut. Just to even it out a bit. Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, next step is to clean up the sides. Um, this is really important uh, because if you don't do it, what can happen is that when the cactus heals, it can fold back over in on itself and I don't want that to happen. So. First things first is that we just make a go like that and cut these sides down. And if you haven't seen this before, yes, I know it looks brutal, uh, but uh, it's uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. 
and then from there we go in a little bit and remove those bits hopefully you can see what I'm doing I'll try and do one this way So that's what I'm looking for, um, nice and clean all the way around and removed all of the higher up green bits so that the cactus won't fold in on itself. So we'll leave that there just for a minute um, and I do need to work reasonably quickly when I'm doing this. Um, that noise is just me chipping the seedling out of its uh, pot. So there's a little guy, um, all taken out, and I'm just going to go ahead and just make a little bit of a cut on him. Um, I'm going to go a little bit higher up because I want to try and get another plant out of the base stock, and also I don't want this thin bit um, because then when I tie the plant down, it'll end up being top heavy, so I'm going to cut a little bit higher up. Um, before I do that, I will clean my knife uh, because I don't want any, any goobies um, getting into the... Um, into the graph side, I need to keep that clean. Okie dokie. Now, you can see in there that little green disc, light green disc in the middle, that's what I need to try and line up with this guy. Um, so, as you can see, it's um, not the easiest, but um, it's not impossible either. To be honest though, for the most part you are eyeballing it because you can't see underneath. I'm just going to make a very thin cut, just a slither, just to make sure that it's all fresh. And then I'm going to try and line this guy up. Put a little bit of pressure. And then now he needs his blanket. So I've got that bit wet, so I'm going to use this bit here. So I've got my paper towel, um, and I'm just going to make him a little blanket. Just like that. And then I need my electrical tape, which I've got here. And I'll take a piece of that. and I'll attach it to his little blanket. And then what I need to do is maintain downward pressure, tape the side, keep the same amount of pressure, and tape to the other side like that. And then I'll do another one. Uh, the reason that I put the blanket is for two reasons. One is it to, to protect the plant, um, and then the other reason is so that Oh, excuse me. When I take the tape off, I don't um, I don't reef the plant off. Otherwise, um, there goes you know all of the work that I've just done. So again, I'm going to pull down with a medium amount of pressure. It does need to be quite firm, like that. And then that's pretty much it. And then hope and pray that I've lined it up properly and. Um, That's about it. So it's uh, a little bit easier, I guess, than Periscopsis, but I think it is because you can get an idea of where the uh, the little rings are and everything like that. I mean, you can't see underneath, so you are sort of just guessing um, where to put it in a way, but you can see them both, so you know roughly where it needs to be. Uh, the tape will stay on for around seven to ten days, um, after which you would remove it, um, and then you'll know whether it's taken a couple of weeks after that. Um, but that's it there, and um, we'll check back when it's time to take the tape off this guy and also to take the graphs out of the tub 
Uh, if you have any questions, definitely do leave me a comment below. Um, you can check out my Facebook page and connect with me on there. Um, it is facebook.com forward slash cactus 87 walker. Um, and of course, if you want to show your support, uh, you can check me out on Patreon. Um, and it is patreon.com forward slash 87 walker. Alright everybody, thanks for watching and as always, happy gardening. Bye!